did you do? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, oops. We were in slot 13. That's what you did. <laughs> Welcome back to Danganronpa. You must kill someone if you want to leave. I'm Magpie. With me is Makoto Naegi. I mean, Leo Leo Leon Tits and also Siren. I'm preparing my voice for this. Also, while, while Leo does that, uh, I realized that I used the exact same voice for Togami and Kirigiri, and uh, that just won't do, so I'm, I'm gonna work on that. Cross my heart. Okay, go. Yeah, I'm also gonna slightly <coughs> alter the voices for Leon and Asahina. Yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, <coughs> here we go. You must kill someone if you want to leave. I love but my mind froze. My breath caught my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. Does he always talk like a protagonist? <laughs> Don't read my thoughts, my Zono. I can't help it. <laughs> it took everything I had just to endure that weight. I'm sitting on you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, my Zono. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So? What are you gonna voice me like now? <laughs> hey. Just stand around, glaring at each other. I got confused because of her official voice clips, and I thought it was Siren talking. I, so that's oh! What, that's, that's why I <laughs> yeah, looked over! A, I actually okay. just paused, like, do I even have to say anything? That's, what, that's why I looked over very confused. Hey seems about, like, hey seems about the amount of commentary that you need for that. Just everyone just staring. Hey. <laughs> hey. Are, are you done? Can we move along? Yeah. I got a lot of stuff to do here. Can we, uh, move along here? I'm, uh, I've got my, uh, a national uh, really cool Thai meeting. Um, it's really important, so let's get moving. <clears throat> a pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. <laughs> it helped us. That too. <laughs> it helped pull us all back to reality. Right, she's right. Listen to me. Sometimes, even if your neighbors are afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Kinky? <laughs> Jesus! If you have time, if you have time to yell about it, <laughs> you have time to do something about it. Thanks, Mondo. However, perhaps, but. What is the mission, exactly? Stupid. Idiot! Look for a way out! Duh! <laughs> <laughs> and we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them! But, but... But before we all do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school of regulations Monokuma mentioned. Before, before doing anything else. Do you mean the fisting book? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit! Alright. So fine! Then... Let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. I'm like wiggling my head around over my voice Junko. <laughs> After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's names showed up front and center. Then, for the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. <laughs> In other words, the rule is being imposed on us all. Uh, who's gonna read this? Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable
possible use of time. Yay! Yay. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limit at night, so please exercise caution. Yay! Yay. Easier for them? 
hold on a second. Oh, wait, hold on a second. You're doing the horror movie split up thing, aren't you? That's this is stupid. I'm leaving. I'm going to a better show. What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. We're all in cabin in the woods now. <laughs> oh, no. Am I wrong? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I no. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm simply acting in accordance with the script of Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> Don't do that. Hold on. Hold on! Like hell I'm gonna voice everyone in this scene! <laughs> what? Society collapsing, Marty. <laughs> the fuck is that supposed to be? Such ignorance. Oh fine, I'll be on script then. One tiny bit of plankton, drifting across the sea. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? So minuscule square pants. <laughs> that couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless crabs. <laughs> I, I was trying really hard to come up with something to say there, and I just. Yeah. I'm gonna kick your ass for that reference! <laughs> Stop it! We should fight! What? The fuck? You're gonna let this guy. Fucking reference SpongeBob in front of me? Look, I'm not happy about it either, but please! Who do you think you are talking to me like that? And you hard? think you're my fucking dad or someone? Who do you think you are bringing on me? No, I wasn't! I wasn't! Uh, rent references! I was not putting rent! <laughs> <laughs> he punched me. <laughs> and I had falling pin sounds. <laughs> It was like something straight out of a comic book. <laughs> I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. Are we just gonna uh, leave him there? Yeah? Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> One That's second. illegal, you know. <laughs> okay, then you deal with it. Oh, fine, I will. I'm supposed to be the second protagonist, right? One second, I was standing there. The right? next, I was soaring through the air. <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I've been trapped in here with. My common sense has just stopped functioning. <coughs> Being around all these ultimates have blown my fuses. <coughs> so I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. Does that become me carry him? You guys are nerds. I'm sorry, I don't have very many muscles. You have like three. I can maybe maybe <laughs> may, maybe 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 I can improv something. That was my last thought as consciousness started to fade <laughs> before it finally cut out completely. Someone just starts tap dancing. <laughs> when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was Monokuma's ass. No. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Time on now. Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Just, you know, the daily life of someone who sleepwalks. <clears throat> okay, so... <laughs> where am I now? And also, I'm kind of echoing when I actually got punched in the face by a car. No! <laughs> really, that's like the whole... I think I'll get in character by remembering when I got hit by a car. That's not what you sounded like at all. I'm just telling you, you came in and started crying about a bike. <laughs> and I was really confused and I thought you sounded like you crushed the bike under a car. And, uh, so I'm just saying, you didn't sound anything like that. You were crying about a bike. And I didn't understand any words. Well, I didn't pass out. Well... Honestly, I was kind of in the street swearing my ass off. Okay, okay. fun story, so... Um... <laughs> I'm just gonna do this while you, like... Okay, um, so, recently, the three of us bought a bike. It's, it's like, like a grocery bike. It's technically an adult trike, but it's got a fucking basket in the back. Yeah. And you can put your groceries in it, and then bicycle up the road, and not have to worry about, like, balancing and keeling all your groceries out into the middle of the road for wild dogs to approach. Yeah, and so, <clears throat> Siren lately had been like practicing riding it. None of us have ever ridden a bike successfully in our life before. <laughs> yeah, and um, so um, one night I wanted to head down to the convenience store 
and it was late at night, and we live on a huge hill, and I was like, I'm gonna ask Siren if she's okay with me taking the bike, and she was, and so <coughs> I roll out to the driveway with the bike, and I'm a little short for it, and I, you know, just awkwardly managed to hop up on there, balancing on the pedals, and then it starts rolling down the driveway. And I start shrieking in fear as, and I tried to engage the brakes, and I was locking up, and it just accelerated more. And then it turns out that across the street, our neighbor had parked a truck, and I hit the truck at like top speed and bounced off and landed on the middle of the street, like swearing like a sailor. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt the uh, yeah? problems, but I just realized something that I never really asked. Yeah? Was it the vape escape truck? Um, no, it wasn't. Damn it. I mean, it, it would have been even better <clears throat> if it was, but it wasn't. Um, no, it was just like a brown pickup truck. I bounced off the driver's side door. Don't worry, everything that's plot relevant will come up again. I'm just skimming through this to get this out of the way. Okay. Oh yeah, I got black eye. It's finally faded. Yeah. Very recently. Oh, sorry. Okay. I think this is about time that did everything. Okay. <coughs> What's everyone else up to right now? <laughs> we can get by cars. <laughs> <laughs> to get out of here. <laughs> They're riding cars into walls. <laughs> oh my god. See, I think this is the uh, scene that I told you about. So. <clears throat> rush out of the room to meet up with all the others. But then there was someone waiting for me there. It's like something of an old TV show. Wham! Ah. Wow, my Zono! Oh. You're CG! Sandra? Sorry. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. When you say my Zono with my face... In your face at 500 miles an hour, it kind of sounds like you're saying vaginal, really muffled, and I'm afraid. I'm sorry about sorry that. About that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, my Zono? Are you okay? Are you hurt? Absolutely. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle winning boxing matches with only my tits and winning personality. <laughs> God damn it, my son, I'll don't reference our blog. No one's gonna understand it. This fucking image is I can fucking splice it in. Okay, I, you do that. I am the image editor. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, fight me. <laughs> but are you okay? You know, from when Mono fucking blew you up with a thum. <laughs> <laughs> he shouted him apart. <laughs> Uh, 
sit in this room. Okay, I guess that's not the dining hall. Wow, I wouldn't have told. I wouldn't have known with the, you know, a picture of garbage on it. <laughs> I'll make sure I remember it's here. Is this? Oh, okay. There's one part where uh, Mizuno will uh, notice you investigating that and she'll be like, Excuse me! But, um, that's where I keep my vaginas? <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I just think it's very silly because... I don't know, I was wondering if I could ask her to go in there and give me mono coins. <laughs> I swear to god, I was wondering if that was an option. Just There you go, I found this on the floor in the bathroom. Ding ding ding! Mono coin zero zero one discovered. <laughs> this must be the dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. I guess that's not really important now with us being in fucking jail. Yeah, that's true, but there's trees behind you, Mizuno. Trees are inside the Koro Nayagi. Yes? Have you never heard of a painting on a wall? It looks real! Okay, then maybe it's just a fucking greenhouse. Let's wait here. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Yarda. Uh, like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm actually psychic. Is, it, is she really? I don't know. <laughs> Here comes a tutorial! Right now, I'd like to be the tutorial. You're gonna be talking to me, right? Well, while you're talking to me, some purple words are gonna appear. Here's not how they, here's how they work. Oh, okay. Well, just in case, let me explain. One. <laughs> I can keep doing it. Oh no, did it skip it? It won't let me, it got mad at me. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about them. The reaction. Do your best to enjoy your own important. Have you gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind. An no. Interesting, an interesting note about that. If you're skipping the text for speed reasons, it stops on reactions. Oh, huh. Very convenient. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto. Huh? Well, what is it? Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Okay. I don't remember which is the right one. What did you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Black Brew Junior High? I didn't even remember it was called Black Brew. What the fuck? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually, I was. I knew it. That's class for two badass for my, uh, vaginal. I went there too. I was in class 420, though. Do you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she's a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We'd never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. Your eyes are the same color as your hair. It's kind of a defining trait. But I went to the same school for three years anyways. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever stand out. We um, had a fight over who was the protagonist. Of course you stand out. <laughs> I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Uh -huh. I'm what are you talking about? That's a fucking plot of a Criminal Minds episode. I'm a cardboard You're cutout. You're so strange. <laughs> I'm a cardboard cutout, Izono. Help me. <laughs> Please stop being the plot to normal. That's the worst Criminal Minds episode. I'm really sorry if anyone really likes that. You have much more patience with TV than I do. I still don't understand why those cars flew so far, my Zono. That was really funny. Anyway, I'm really <laughs> You okay? I really hope I can find some way to just splice in that funny. <laughs> I hope so. Amazing. No, I'm really not. <laughs> I got an 
you please splice in cars? <laughs> You're nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. I barely know how to work Vegas. <laughs> You're the one that helped me find my courage again, not any of those ultimate students. Thank you. Oh, sorry, that's not me. <laughs> I thought I was saying thank you to you. Th thank you for saying that. Thank you. <laughs> and to thank you, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Ah, uh, is... Are we in a dating kind of visual novel now? No, I'm just trying to say thank you as many times as humanly possible, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna help you out as much as- I'm gonna thank you as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... It turns me into a hetero! No! Which is nice, but still- Don't you swear at me, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is still late. Everyone else is still voiced by Siren. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. Why don't you go investigate the clock, then? There must be a clock around here somewhere. <laughs> I just have to look behind Mazono's fat head. Fuck you! I'm sorry. I have a lot of hair. I can't help it. I will not shave it. <laughs> what time is it right now? I can't see. What? It's 7 o'clock at night? Wow, I thought it was 10p lunar. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. <laughs> I see, but the computer clock says uh, 6.30. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon.